<laughs> we are back in the Publix kitchen with the one and only mm. Chef Tony. And once again, you have a feast laid out, and I'm excited to eat. And I've been actually picking at this dish, and this is only part of it. Well, you know, we were just talking about how these uh, these peas very underrated. You know, you sit here, they're like eating popcorn at, at night. Maybe just toss these up with a little bit of butter, go get your little bowl, and just hang out watching the movie, a little rom com. Be like, hey, girl, what's up? I'm having some peas. Oh, nothing, but these peas are delicious. Right I played the girl in this scenario. Oh, so I, I like this right here. It's just funny how our voices were the same pitch almost, <laughs> right. too. So it's great. But we have, we're doing a, a fish with a warm sweet potato salad. So I'm going to get some fish in the fryer. Our recipe calls for you to bake it, but you know, we have these great fryers at our store, and, and we don't get to use them too often. But uh, I wanted to put this in here today just to show how easy it is. So we have these uh, potato crusted cod right there from Sea Cuisine. I'm just going to drop it into the fryer nice and easy. Right? Notice as I drop in, I move my hand away. But I'm not throwing it into the fryer. So it splashes all yeah, over. Yeah, you know, nice people do tight. that all the time. Right? They throw stuff everywhere. And there's oil and stuff. I'm like, no. <laughs> no good. One, you got to clean it up. Right? Save yourself the mess. But these are so convenient. You know, you just plug them in. Holds about two quarts of oil. Gauges the temperature, lets you know when it's ready and whatnot. So while that's in there, let's focus on this saute pan over here. So we did this over medium high heat, a little bit of canola oil in there. If you want to, you can just take a little bit of oil out of your fryer with a ladle. And we put these uh, sweet potato spirals that you find in the produce department in there. Saute them down a little bit. Boom, boom, right? Doing your little thing. Add the peas in there, right? A little bit Christmas. And then we grab the salad mix right here, pour it in take the salad dressing that comes with it and put it in as well. And that's what makes ah, the flavor and everything. the bigger flavor, right? Yeah. That's what starts to bring everything together. So you're getting these great uh, sweet potatoes, right? Which we should love to eat sweet potatoes. The Pinot Noir pairs very well with that. You can get by with maybe a little bit of a light porter if you wanted to. You get that fresh pea, you get some crispiness from the wonton uh, strips in there. You're getting some cabbage, right? So a little bit more crunch. So these are hardier vegetables that are gonna hold up to the heat and hold that crunch when you go to eat it. So yeah. we have that textural difference going that's really on. Important. And again, one of the things you always do such a great job of is there are simple ingredients that you put together, you kind of layer up the flavor, and it comes out and it looks amazing. Well, this is, you know, it's got to be eye-catching. Yeah. Right? Got to be eye-catching. You got to, and it can't be hard, right? It's called simple meals for a reason. If it, was, it wasn't, it'd be called hard meals. <laughs> right. And then we go out to eat. That's what we exactly. would do, okay? Or invite you over to cook. Right. Well, maybe one of my chefs, right? So check this out. Next week, I'm going to go on vacation. Chef Lionel's going to pop on. He's going to slide on in for everybody right there. Oh, See? Hello. Chef Look at Lionel. That slide. So, next I like Wednesday, it. I believe, right. he'll be sliding into the kitchen and he'll be doing this instead of me. Well, this was great. Nice meeting you. I will see you next Wednesday. All right. So, he's going to slide right out right now. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, there we go. Like that, huh? Very nice. Very graceful. Electric slide, somebody. Like All right. So, <laughs> you can see how golden brown these are getting right here. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. And here, I'm draining them. I'm using a paper bag, obviously. If I'm using a paper bag, what's you, what do you think it's going to say? Oh, Publix, yes. right? So I have a way to use this bag. What it does is this will soak in the oil. I have our plate right here. You want to put some of that wonderful salad, we'll get warm salad, right on here. Put some in the center, right? Go to the center, cen the, okay. the center of the plate, right? Everything that, that we like to do in the kitchen, we like to do is kind of from the center of the plate. We have a little bit of lime right here, if I can grab it. Okay, a little bit of spritz of lime to go. Hold on. <gasps> Look a little at fish that. like that. Wow. For you, sir. Let me get you. Let me, here you go right here. Get you a little fork. It's oh. not needed, my friend. Uh oh. This is fried. Oh, I, I like how this goes. Was it a two finger scoop on the salad too? That is so good. I like yeah. that. Do it. Do it. Oh. Uh, not gonna lie, it's a little hot. Well, it's I not. Didn't it, think this through. It's out the. It's out the fryer. There you go. But I mean, again, They're wonderful so flavors, crispiness. You got crisp here. You got crunchy in the salad. And they pair up very well. The seasoning that you have on. The well, vegetables. it's all it's straight out of the pack right here. It's that salad dressing out of that uh, that salad that we get from Taylor. And one more time, you were talking about different wines to pair this up with. I think a Pinot Noir would go well with this, or a Grenache that would play with the wonderful flavors of the sweet potato. You can brighten it up with a, a Pinot Grigio, maybe a, a an oak chard would play in there too. That Very well excellent. with it. And you know, too, I know a lot of parents or grandparents are busy right now because the kids are gearing up to go back to school. Back to Another school. Great, you know, like the whole family can eat. That's simple to make. Very fast, very efficient, and it tastes delicious. So right. Mm, like it. Tastes delicious. <laughs> right there. Tastes delicious. I guess I have to do it, too. To learn more, you go to newsforjacks.com for all these great recipes. And pick up these quality ingredients in your neighborhood public stores. Stick around one of them right after this.